All right, here I am at uh, St. Charles Borneo Church in Drexel Hill, Pennsylvania. And if you've seen the first two parts of this video, I went, started up at the uh, old Swedish log cabin, which dates back to the 1630s, 1640s. And then I walked along the trail and talked a little about, a bit about the Irish immigrants that came here in the 1800s. Now this is the church that that the man who the town was named after, Kellyville, this is the church he built in about, originally about 1849, 1850, but again I think this church here may have been rebuilt a little bit later, maybe in the 1880s or 1890s. So, I'm going to check it out, check out the, uh, the old cemetery here, but there's a couple of markers I want to see if I can find some uh, pro pro baseball players and um, now we'll see if we can find the Charles Kelly who I know is buried here too and he is the guy that this area was named after so let me get up over the top here and I'll see you over there all right so here I am this is the back side of, of St. Charles Borneo Cemetery and Church in Drexel Hill, Pennsylvania. And um, I just, I started, it's a, I guess a three-part video series here. And um, I started up at the Swedish cabin up along Darby Creek. And I talked a little bit about the Swedish immigrants that came here in the 1600s. And then I walked along and check out some of the little bit that's left over from the uh, some of the mills that used to be along this creek here and about how the Irish immigrants kind of had really populated this area in the 1800s and specifically Charles Kelly was the man who really kind of built this area up as an industrialized town and it was named Kellyville in those days. It's all part of Upper Darby Township at the time. But um, but then, you know, the town was called Kellyville. And now what you have is Clifton Heights on the other side. And then just down here is, is uh, Lansdowne Borough. So they broke away from Upper Darby Township much later. So... Charles Kelly had this church built on his land. He owned all this property, and he had this church built originally in the 18, 1849. So this is the historic cemetery that goes with it. And I'm just gonna check it out a little bit. There's also a World War II monument here. The men and women of St. Charles Parish who served during World War II. A lot of names. Those who died during World War II.
So as I said in my last video, the church was built in the former town of Kellyville by Charles Kelly, an Irish immigrant who came to America in 1821 and built a huge fortune here uh, with his mill in this area. The church, because he employed a large number of Irish immigrants, he had this, he had owned all this land, large amount of land, and he built this church, uh, named it St. Charles Borromeo, uh, for himself. Well, not for himself, but his name was Charles, so he picked a saint with the same name of Charles, and um, then built this church and cemetery. And I'll show you his grave. Mark of them. Oh, that's Kelly there. So that's who, this is the man who this area was named after. He was the mill owner. So Charles Kelly came here. Um, he was sponsored by a man named Dennis Kelly, who owned mills in nearby Havertown. And Dennis Kelly had come here. And at first he worked in the mills, and then he basically, he bought one, and then he became wealthy, and then he sponsored Charles Kelly. And there's some sources that say they were related, other sources say they weren't. A lot of sources say it was his, that Charles Kelly was his nephew, was Dennis Kelly's nephew. Others says his son-in-law. Others say they weren't related at all. It's just that Kelly was a very common name in the part of Ireland they came from and that they weren't related. So I don't know if history really knows if they're related or not. But um but eventually um Dennis Kelly got out of the mill business on this in this area and just stuck to his mill here. Charles Kelly was left to run this one in Again, he built it into a sizable business. And, um, and so this land here, well, this was all his land here. And because there were so many Irish immigrants, he built this church for them. And um, so uh, I've shown you his marker. I'm looking for another marker too. I don't know if I'll be able to find it or not, but it's a man named Peter Conway, and he actually had a brother named James Conway, and they both played uh, pro baseball in the 1800s, and they're both buried here, and I don't know where the location is. I was hoping I could just kind of like stumble across it, but Peter uh, Conway was a pitcher, and... He played for four teams during five years uh, that he played pro ball. And then he had an, apparently had an injury in 1889 and that kind of sidelined him. He did become a coach, uh, I believe it was Michigan. Yeah, he was Michigan's first, uh, the college, uh, their first coach back in in 1890, I believe the year was. But then he eventually did that for a couple years and then came back to this area where he lived. And uh, then when he died, he only died at age 36 in 1903. And he was described as a mule skinner at the time. Um, 
and that's what he apparently that's what he did when he died so not a lot of uh, money in baseball in those days all right so that's my little checking out of this historic cemetery and church here so like I said I wish I could find those grave markers because I know they're here somewhere but They could be anywhere in here, and I'm not going to wander around here all day. But this is my little visit to St. Charles Borromeo Church and Cemetery, Drexel Hill, Pennsylvania. So, thanks for watching.